Thank you, Stefano, for this wonderful celebration. Thank you for making standards so interesting, fascinating, and attractive. Um, thank you also for your outstanding support throughout um, the last years in our common ambition to improve knowledge valorization for creating value in the economy and society. So I thought this was really heartwarming. Um, and it's a wonderful closing for our uh, session today. It was a long day. If I would try to go through the session, I mean, Joanna's introduction, where she put the emphasis on the, the new geopolitical dimension of knowledge valorization, also the question of security, um, the session on uh, how to improve intellectual asset management with some nice provocations. Huh? Should we throw out IP <laughs> um, in, in valor in, when, when assessing research? Um, with the very interesting session on standards, which I had one example um, that th there is a standard for defining what zero defect manufacturing is. So could we imagine, Stefano, could we imagine to work together on a standard for zero pollution um, manufacturing? Something like that. So um, enhancing collaboration and networking, which is at the heart, uh, that's what one of the sessions, uh, which is at the heart of knowledge valorization and uh, um, reaching out. Um, and then the last session on um, the circular economy. So, I mean, for those who have missed some part of it, um, the recordings will be available um, on our broadcasting platform and on our knowledge valorization platform. I cannot underline this enough. Um, this is a big tool we have um, in the digital knowledge valorization. You're very welcome to place your examples, what inspires you on, on this knowledge valorization platform. So my three main takeaways are first, it's all about an open dialogue. And actually that resonates quite well also with what um, our president Ursula von der Leyen underlined when she gave the bigger political picture in her State of the Union speech. Open dialogue in, um, an air, in, in an overall global situation which is um, something about permanent deep perma crisis. Um, and it requires an effort and we in the science field have the privilege to look forward to an open new agenda um, and have this dialogue. Second, the importance of co-creation, of collaborate, collaboration. I mean, we have done this um, with, with the codes um, of practice and the guidelines for knowledge realization. What I saw in all these projects um, was it was about collaboration and this is about our collective intelligence. And if sometimes we could be despaired by um, the developments around us, uh, then I think there is a bit of hope, um, not only with research, but if we use our collective intelligence. So open dialogue um, and collaboration, co-creation really, this strong form of collaboration. And the third takeaway for me is this should not be the last event of this kind. It should become, Kirsi, it should become an annual event. <laughs> um, and because it's about bringing communities together and um, st strengthening Europe by acting together. So the follow-up, the next steps for us are that all these ideas shared today um, will feed into um, the next um, knowledge valorization national events, our awareness raising campaigns. And more than that, uh, Kirsi told me that there's so many excellent ideas here today that we will never get it through um, the commission hierarchy. Well, we will try, Kirsi, we will try. We can do it. Um, and so thank you also for that. Um, 
The next awareness raising campaigns, uh, events, national events are in Austria on 9th of November, in Portugal on the 14th and 15th November, and in Greece on the 30th November. So much to look forward to. Um, please participate as ambassadors in knowledge valorization um, or um, inspire uh, additional uh, events at national level next year. And please keep an eye on our newsletter. We have launched a knowledge valorization newsletter. Um, it is quite interesting, and it could also be um, a possibility for you to place ideas for um, our next um, Knowledge Valorization Week, which will take place in spring 2024. Um, so I think that's all I can share at this very moment with you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Special thanks to the team uh, around Casey, also the team around the uh, President uh, Stefano uh, from, from San Senelec. So thank you all. Have a great afternoon and see you soon. And I'm looking forward to the next annual event on knowledge valorization. Thank you.